Sonny Donnelly, IFL TV and Association with MTK Global. I'm at York Hall today for the Eddie Hearn and Matchroom Sports Show. With me, I've got Ted Cheeseman off his tough uh, well, eight round win eight round. against uh, Tony Dixon. A tough, tough opponent there. Um, you sort of had him a little bit in the second, but uh, he kept regrouping and coming back. I can see you getting a bit frustrated there because you were getting him with everything and he looked at a certain point he looked like he was hurt, but yeah. he just kept regrouping and, and coming back. Yeah, he's a very game kid. Great fight for me. He's, it was 10 and 1. So on paper, he came to win. He is the current Welsh Super Bowl weight champion, and I'm the current English champion. So it's a great fight for me. Um, perfect, what, exactly what I needed. Good day, tough rounds. I dominated every round, but kept having him hurt. But it just seemed to stick in there. But it's exactly what I needed before I push on for these big fights, and hopefully for the British title. Um, I'm, I feel I'm ready now. I performed like I'm ready now. I've showed everyone I can go in the trenches. I can. I have a stick staying now. I, I, I boxed on the front foot with my hands tight, walking forward, walking him down. I boxed on the back foot, my hands lower, and being skillful. I showed a bit of everything, and I just feel I'm ready now. I spoke to JJ Metcalf after his win. Uh, that's who you're meant to be fighting. Yeah. Has, has anything said about that fight? Yeah, um, I don't know. There's talk going on about it now, but I think the board is trying to keep it as the final eliminator. But to be honest, the fight I don't. It ain't the right fight for a final eliminator, it's a British title fight. It ain't, it's too, there's too much. It's too good of a fight for a final eliminator. It needs to be for the vacant British, so hopefully that's what it is, but we've got to hope, wait for that to see what happens without whether it gets made for the final eliminator or, or the British, but hopefully that's what I'm looking for in the new year to fight for the British title. I've been English champion now nearly a year, so I want to push on to that title now. Well, so you said you won the English start up so the early on in the year yeah. um, you kept active in the year but sort of trying to push for that British that is yeah. now obviously vacant um, Eddie's them if anyone's gonna make that fight happen it will be Eddie and I'm yeah. sure if he can make it happen he will make it happen yeah um, JJ Metcalf like I said will be the opponent, yeah, opponent yeah. it looks like but if not I mean is there anyone else out there any other route you could possibly go to be honest everyone will tell you I I don't really care who I fight. If Tony and Charlie want me to fight them and Eddie, I fight them. Do you know what I mean? I train. I train hard and live the life. I eat, sleep, and drink boxing. So that's what it's about. And I want to go out and get as far as I can. So whoever I have to fight to get there, I'll fight. You know what I mean? I'm not. Right now, I'm not in a position to start calling names out. Once I win the British title, I can start picking opponents and stuff. But right now, it looks like it's me and JJ Metcalf, and hopefully, it gets made for the vacant British. And, I'm just happy to end the year on a good win. 12-0, 22 years old, 8 KOs out of 12 knockouts. I'm flying at the moment, I'm cruising on, so hopefully to start the new year with a big British title shot. Um, a midweek in December is close to Christmas and you're still out uh, a lot of fans. How much does that mean to you? Yeah, it's really good. Uh, my support is building right up now. I think everyone's getting behind me. I think as you see tonight, I've got that exciting style. Every, everyone likes to see me when I'm in a fight because it's always exciting. I like, if I'm dominating the night, I'm going to take them out. I ain't just going to cruise for a win. And if I'm um, in a tough fight, I'm going to push hard and grip my teeth and try and get them out there still, like I did tonight. And Tony Dixon, all credit where he's drew, he's done very well. He's a very durable fighter. But I just showed how strong and how much, um, how tough I am in that fight, you know what I mean? I showed a bit of everything, as I was saying that again, I showed a bit of everything and that's what I needed to do tonight, I needed to get good 8 rounds in before I push on for that big 12 round fight. Right mate, well listen, like I said, classy 8 rounds, uh, as much as you didn't get the knockout, you got a good win uh, and in style, but enjoy your Christmas, we look good to uh, look forward to big 2018 that uh, a lot of people are hoping you have, but until then, Ted, thank you on IFL TV, Cheers, and I'll catch up with you soon, Cheers, stop man, thank you.